it's your boy Big Grizz, man. Today is Saturday. And to make a long story short, I know I look pissed. It's because my mom scheduled me a vaccination appointment without telling me and she's on her way to come get me. I don't even want to fucking go. So I don't want to hear her mouth. So I'm going to do this shit, but I'm documenting the whole thing, how I feel, all that shit, bro. I'm not playing with these people. I ain't. <laughs> I'm not really in the mood, bro. I'm really tired. You know what I'm saying? Your boy was in a little, little weed coma and shit. <laughs> so... I'm really tired, man. I was really trying to get to sleep. And I was kind of hoping I was going to go by myself because I wasn't going to go. But then she calls me and says she's taking me, which she wasn't supposed to do, which is for real. <laughs> no, I'm sick. Somebody bust a snitch. One of my brothers and sisters must have snitched. Bruh, I'm mad as fuck because I didn't want to go to this shit. And guess what? Guess what? Bro, <laughs> right, there's nothing I can do, bro. We just go and see, bro. I'm saying if it's fast, then I mean, I, I'm going to probably get it over with, bro. I just want this shit to hurry up, bro. Like, I don't want to be there more than 10 minutes and none of that shit, bro. Like, y'all just pray for me, honestly. Like, I'm low-key, like, really scared because I just read something the other day where some lady couldn't feel her legs and arms. Like, come on, bro. Like, I, how am I supposed to work? Like, what am I, y'all know I do the videos, bro, this shit here, if this gets in the way, bro, I'm telling you, me and my mom really might fall out about this shit, but I'm about to go and do this shit, so y'all, I'll let y'all know how I feel when I get back to the crib and shit, so just stay tuned, bro. Man, this shit is crazy. Got niggas out here doing this shit. Actually, I should have just said no. Guess what? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm in line waiting to get this is my car and everything. This is going crazy, bro. Uh. Bro, this is all this. It's crazy. It's crazy. I'll stay to no chances. Hello. Good, yeah, how are you? Good. Are you guys both kidnapped? Do you want to be together at the same table? Or yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. I guess so. All right, so then I'm going to send you to table this is seven. Seven? You guys can be together at table seven. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, is that blood? Oh. <laughs> okay. Hello. Well, you have to record me then. <laughs> just relax your arm down by your side. <laughs> I didn't feel it. I swear. <laughs> okay, I thought I was about to die. It's your boy, Big Grizz. And I just, I just got the vaccine. Yeah, you got the vaccine. It's right here, in my left shoulder. It was fast, though. I ain't gonna count. It was fast, but it's all good. Yeah, it was fast. 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 Yeah, of course, me being a big brother, I had to go first. So. It ain't even, I ain't even feel it though. So. You know what I'm saying? So, we Gucci though. I'm fine. I don't feel nothing yet. My arm ain't tingling. I'm about to fall off and shit. So, so far, so good. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know. I thought it was going to be way much more than what it was. But my mom definitely owed me breakfast after this. Cause, oh God, she owed me breakfast. Y'all stay tuned, man. How you like it? I'm scared. You scared? We did it, though. We did it. Y'all stay tuned. Oh, what's good, vlog? Yes, I am back home. So y'all know what that means, man. Your boy got his vaccine. I just wanted, you know what I'm saying, to show y'all what it looks like, man. I got it on my left arm. Bow out. Hold on. Damn. 
Blood out. Y'all see it right there? Yeah, blood out. I got it, bro. <laughs> Me and my little sister actually got it together. I didn't know my little sister was getting hers, too. She got her first vaccine, too, so. <sighs> Mission accomplished. I don't feel anything. Still could. Hey, hey, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. You know what I'm saying? I can still turn up and shit, but um, yeah, man, that's pretty much it for this this is probably going to be a whole video itself. I'm still going to vlog today, but this part is a whole video within it. So, tell y'all my experience. Honestly, it was fast. Like, when we got to the place, I'll tell y'all that part. When we got to the place, literally, you was just in line. Like, we had an, I think my appointment was at 10, but I don't even think it mattered because I think just, you could just walk in. Like, that's what people was doing, just going in there. As soon as you go in, boom. You got to go. Somebody got to go over. Make sure you filled everything right. Then boom, you back in line. Then boom, you got to get your card, your, um, you know what I'm saying? Your vaccination card to prove that you got your vaccination. And then when it tells you your next shot and everything like that. So then you get that. Then after that, they schedule, you know, you go to the next line. They schedule your appointment from there. You literally go straight to the line to get your shot. Now, luckily, me and my sister got our, was able to get our shit together. The lady was super nice, super cool, super sweet. You know what I'm saying? Like she walked us through it. She let us know it was painful, which it was. Literally, I got it first because, of course, I'm the big brother. So, um. I got my shot first. I got it in my left arm because I didn't know if I was going to be messed up. I'd rather be my left than my right because my right is what I, you know, I'm right handed. So I'd rather be my left, which I don't really use that much, but I still use. But just, yeah. Um, so I had to do that. Literally, it was two seconds. And one, I didn't even feel the shot. I promise to y'all, y'all know Grizz, no capping channel on him, on him. I didn't feel no pain. I didn't feel no pain at all. It was quick. I just boop, and then like you, I felt like the fluid going into my arm. But uh, but the other, it was like one second. Other than that, quick, easy. I didn't feel nothing. No arm stiffness or anything after that. Well, let me not hold it using that because I I don't want to. You know what I'm saying? I want to use this arm as much less as possible just because I was hearing about what people, the complications people was having. I did read online. I told you I was scared. I read somewhere that some lady woke up. She could not feel, after she got her shot, she could not feel her arms or legs. Like she could not move her arms or legs. Her legs still aren't moving, but her arms she got function back into, but she got the shot and it was the Pfizer and her legs wasn't moving. So I was really scared about getting this because I always have weird health scary health stories like because like i'll be fine and then out of nowhere something will come and it'll be like life-threatening and shit like it always happens to me like so i thought that was the case with this but honestly like i said she shot me boom uh put the band-aid on and i'm still sitting there like is that it she was like yeah that's it i got up. i had got up and then she did my sister my sister sat boop shot her she said my sister said she felt it now she's a girl she's a lot much younger than me so i don't know maybe her pain tolerance is just different or something like that but i honestly didn't feel it like at all like i didn't even know i still asked her if she had did the shot after she had stuck it in me and everything i'm like did you do it and she's like it's in your arm i'm like oh so my sister got done then I guess 15 minutes you have to sit for 15 minutes after to make sure you don't have no side effects so we sat for 15 minutes um, I called my brother because, listen, y'all, I had a plan originally because I'll share this with y'all because you know I'm saying we gang, y'all gang. I wasn't going to go to this. I was going to because I thought I was going to have to get, you know, go there on my own. So I was going to play it like I couldn't find a ride. I wasn't going to go. But my mom had different plans. Like I told y'all, I didn't know my sister was getting her vaccination shot as well. So I honestly thought I was going to be going to the appointment by myself or trying to go to the appointment by myself. So I was like, perfect, because that's going to make it a lot harder for honestly me for me to find a ride and get a ride home because it's so early. And I don't know if y'all know, but lately these Lyft and Uber apps been on bullshit, man. It's been hard as hell to find a ride. So I was like, perfect, man. That's the perfect excuse I ain't got to get this shit. <laughs> I ain't got to get this shit. I'm like, cool. And then this morning, my sister calls me at like 9.36. So I tried to act like I'm asleep. I'm like, man, why are you calling me so early? You know, y'all know the, you know, y'all know when y'all be faking sleep. Y'all do the fake sleep. I was like, bro, why are you calling me so early, man? She's like, we're on the way to come get you for the vaccine appointment. I said, <laughs> 
I could have died right there, bro. I could have died right there. I'm like, y'all's not on y'all way. She said, we're on the way. And where my mom live, I don't live that far from my mom. As y'all know, I moved out at 18. So I don't live that far from my mom, really. Honestly, it doesn't take that long. So I'm like, y'all in the car, huh? I'm like, that means they like four minutes away. I'm like, damn. I was high. I was going to try to use something like I wasn't at home. I stayed at some shorty's house, but they was like right there. I wasn't going to do them like that. <laughs> So, your boy, this is how I had to get the vaccine, unfortunately. But I still got it. I'm fine. I'm good. Um, so, if y'all are worried about it, man, take it from me. Because I wasn't even about to get that shit. And I work with the people. I help people with my job. I actually help people schedule vaccine appointments and, and find, you know, testing sites and everything like that. That's my job. That's what I do on that computer that y'all be seeing me work on. So, it was just kind of weird that I didn't want to get it. But I end up getting it anyway, so I'm actually glad because y'all know I got that Jamaica trip coming, and technically I would have to quarantine um, if I go, which now I don't have to because I got the vaccination card, which is actually kind of clutch. So it's like it helps in a way because like I'm gonna still wear my face mask and shit. Don't get that fucked up. I I've been social distancing before social distancing. Like I never was. A, people person that just be all up on you all in your face coughing and all that. i don't like that shit cover your mouth my nigga so i was always doing it before that so this was just like perfect opportunity because now i don't have to do no extra shit for jamaica i literally just have to get my passport and that's it bro that's all i have to get so jamaica is lit hopefully juni june still you know is able to go because that would be lit if not you know it's just gonna be mean i'm gonna still make sure that shit lit but uh yeah man i am back healthy so like i said if y'all was thinking about getting a vaccine take my experience from it it was not bad i don't know then again if y'all different place around the world i don't know how they doing the vaccine but i know from my experience it was not that bad it was quick i am fine your boy's literally about to roll up some gas right now because y'all know i didn't get my morning blunt yet so it's time to smoke, but um, <laughs> but yeah, man. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video, my vaccine experience. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and stay tuned. Big Grizz.